Welcome to today's video, my new in spring haul. Outfit ideas with and other stories, Reese, Arquette, Evelyn, and much more for 2021. Essentially, all the pieces that are new in my wardrobe and the many different ways I would style them. So I hope you've all had a great week and are ready for a little bit of outfit inspiration. So grab a cuppa, sit back, relax, and let me share some beautiful clothes and outfit ideas. A portion of this video has very kindly been sponsored by Nordgreen, a brand which I am very proud to be an ambassador for. And they've launched a beautiful new design which I'm very excited to share with you all a little bit later in this video. Before I forget, if you're not already subscribed, it would be lovely if you'd like to do so. And at the end of this video, don't forget to follow the link in the description box below to find my daily outfit ideas over on Instagram. So first up in this spring haul to the lovely pastel blue jumper I'm wearing. I totally fell in love with this pastel blue jumper and I've worn it so much since it arrived. Now I am a bit of a fan of open work detail on knitwear, particularly for spring summer. So that ticked a box straight away for me. It's been made from wool and then of course there's that color which I just think is so pretty and feminine and as a happy bonus is very on trend as well. Saying that even though it's on trend something like a beautiful pastel blue jumper is never going to date so I know it's one of those pieces that I'll keep revisiting season after season. Now although I went for it in the pastel blue it's also available in a pastel pink which is my other favorite color but I went with the blue because I've already got quite a good collection of blush pinks. And as you can see, I would style it with navy trousers like the ones I'm wearing. I've got some blush pink, which I love with this jumper. Obviously it looks great with jeans. And then as we get closer to summer and you need just a little bit of extra warmth, maybe on top of a white dress or a white maxi skirt, I think that would be a really nice color combination too. Right, I'm just gonna stick my jeans on actually because I want to show you these trousers close up. Now these came from Jigsaw, they're called the Helena trousers and I went true to size with a UK 10. And I think it's fair to say they are now my favorite pair of tailored trousers I have in my entire wardrobe. I absolutely love the fit. I think they've got it spot on. Now the class is a straight leg, but they're not going too skinny, which is bonus number one. Number two would be these pleats down the front here, which are creating such a lovely shape when you're wearing them. The waistband is really tailored. I mean, look at all the quality of the stitching there. And they sit just above my hip bone, which feels really comfortable, but I also think it's flattering at the same time. Now, as you can see with this other photo from Instagram, I love going tonal with them and styling them with that light blue organic shirt, which I'm gonna show you in a moment, actually. I'd also wear them out-out when we're allowed with a really nice bodysuit underneath. As you saw earlier I'd wear them with this jumper and even camel tones work really nice as well. So they've got a beautiful cut, lovely quality. Apologies in advance, I'm going to be wearing those a lot throughout spring. So next up in this spring haul, I had a little bit of a shopping spree at And Other Stories. Now it might not be quite the weather just yet for denim shorts, but I thought I'd get in there early and make myself feel all summery. So I found this lovely pair. These are the high-waisted frayed denim version and I went with them in my usual size 28. I would, to be honest with you, always wear them with a bit of a turn up, just kind of roll that over once or twice. Not because I want them any shorter, although it does make them shorter, I just prefer that look of a turn up. So I'd wear them a bit more like that. Now I love that look throughout spring when you see people wearing denim cut-off shorts with a crisp white shirt or a crisp blue shirt. Maybe a nice pair of flat espadrilles and a canvas bag and a jumper over your shoulders just in case it gets a bit chilly. For me, those kind of outfits are just the epitome of effortless chic. So that's probably how I will be styling them the most. And then obviously as it gets a little bit hotter, I can go a little bit more lightweight on my top half. I think they were selling out quite fast. So if you do like them, I would jump on it quite quickly or if they've sold out by the time I manage to get this video out there, I shall link some alternatives below. I'd love to hear your thoughts on denim shorts actually, because I'm thinking they're quite an acquired taste and not for everybody. So it'd be good to hear everyone's different opinions on whether you love or loathe them. Now, like I mentioned earlier, I'm a very proud ambassador of the beautiful Minimal Watch collection by Nordgreen. Now, if you're not familiar with Nordgreen, they're a sustainable watch brand from Denmark, who not only create a beautiful collection of watches I wear a lot, but they're also hugely ethical as a company at the same time. They've got numerous giving back programs, they're carbon neutral shipping, 
and their very sustainable packaging. Now they have just launched their fifth watch to their collection designed by the world-renowned Jakob Wagner. This is called the Unica. Now I often find myself adding a watch to an outfit to finish it rather than just for practical reasons. I just love to have that sprinkle of gold, often instead of a bracelet. And the Unico just feels so timeless and elegant. I know it's gonna become my new go-to watch to finish my looks. Now, as you know, Nord Green offer lots of varieties on the combination. So you could go for leather, you could go for mesh, or you could go for their interchangeable strap option. But I decided to go with the five link in gold as I thought it matched the best with the items I've got in my wardrobe. I think it's very refined and graceful, and I actually really love the contrast of it with my dress down outfits as much as when I'm dressed up. Now, as you would hope, I do have an exclusive 15% off discount code for my subscribers. So at the end of this video, don't forget to follow the link in the description box below and take a look at the Unica range for yourself. But as you can probably tell, I'm personally very chuffed with this new addition to my wardrobe. Now this next item, though it looks a little bit scary, just like a piece of string, is actually a really lovely bodysuit by a brand called The Line by K. So this brand is really all about creating those high quality basics. And you can really see that when you look at her collection in full. So a little vest top, for instance, isn't just a vest top. You can really see that they've thought about every little detail and the shape and the cut and the way the lines move and the fabric. And adding all of those elements together, I think she's managed to create a really special brand. Though it is pretty skimpy for me, I actually really like it. And I particularly like it styled with something non-skimpy like tailored trousers or just a really nice relaxed pair of jeans. I think that juxtaposition of styles really looks nice together. So onto a couple more pieces I got from Reese. First up would be the blush trousers that I mentioned. I wear an awful lot with this blue jumper. Now these have been made from satin backed crepe. So as you can imagine, they feel beautiful to wear. I love how they've used the satin on the outside of the waistband and it's made a really nice contrasting gathered frill detail. Now there's room and the length to wear these high waisted if you wanted to, but personally I've been wearing them just a little bit lower because I feel more comfortable like that. Now a little bit like the navy trousers, these are far more versatile than you might first think. You could wear them as a lounge pant, but in all honesty, I think they're far too beautiful just to be kept for indoors. So I'd wear them with sandals and a t-shirt. I'd wear them with a bodysuit, a nice shirt, or a jumper, as you can see. So they have been getting an awful lot of wear. And something I've been wearing with them, either as a layer underneath my jumper or on its own if it's been warm enough, is this lovely blush pink vest top. Now this has been made from knitted viscose, so not only does it look more expensive than it actually is, but it feels it too. And because it's knitted, it's giving you that really nice fit across your chest and your waist. I think that square neck is a really flattering shape, so again, I think that will become a bit of a staple for me as we get to warmer weather. And this is the fourth piece from Reese, a lace trimmed relaxed blouse that I knew straight away was my cup of tea. So the main of the fabric is 100% viscose. You've got this lovely wide oversized shape, lovely big neckline here with this frill detail going all the way around the collar. But the beauty of this one has got to be that gorgeous lace paneling going down the front here and then over those bell sleeves. Styling wise, you know this is going to be very versatile. It will probably mix and match with virtually everything I've got on that rail and quality and attention to detail, I think it's just stunning. I'm gonna really enjoy styling that into lots of outfit ideas. Now I keep talking about pairing items with a crisp shirt, and when you find a good one, I think it's definitely worth shouting about. Arquette do make a very nice crisp shirt. I think it's got everything that I would want. It's got the perfect shape, it's really nice and oversized, not too tight or clinging anywhere. The shade of blue, which is really important, is spot on. It's been made from organic cotton, so both from a sustainability element and also what it feels like on, it definitely ticks that box. And it's coming in at 55 pounds, so I would say quality to price point is really, really good. And in terms of a capsule wardrobe, I don't think you can ever go wrong with a classic blue or white crisp shirt in your closet. And keeping things really classic, the other item I went for from Arquette is just a 
simple white t-shirt. Well, I say simple, I find it really important to find the perfect tee, which can come down to the fabric they've used, the cut, the shape, how long the sleeves are. I think all these little details do make a difference. Now, as you can see on the hanger, it looks pretty wide but hopefully in this footage you can see it just gives you a lot more options of how to style it. So I'm really happy with that one. I think I'm gonna get loads of wear out of that throughout spring, summer, and at 19 pounds, I think you're definitely getting a really good deal for your money. Now the other week I showed you my gray loungewear set that I got from Everlane. It's beautiful, I've worn it an awful lot, and been elevating it a little bit by sort of styling it with a blazer. But I haven't had a chance to show you this lovely colorway, which is called the Laurel. I think it's such a pretty tone, probably my favorite actually between the two. Now sizing wise, with the joggers, I went true to size because I wanted them quite slim fit, but the jumper portion I sized up, and I would probably always do that with loungewear sweaters like this, because I hate them to feel tight. I think there's nothing more uncomfortable than a tight sweater which negates the idea of loungewear. Lovely quality as always with Everlane and just such a pretty colour. I won't be saving this just for loungewear. I think it definitely needs a few outings. I really hope you've enjoyed this spring haul and outfit ideas from lots of my favourite high street and independent brands. And I would love to hear from you in the comments section below, which was your favorite piece that I've bought recently? And I would love to hear from you in the comments section below, which was your favorite piece that's new in in my wardrobe. Don't forget to follow the link in the description box below to have a look at Nord Green's collection and all those beautiful new watches. And if you do decide to buy, please help yourself to the discount code, which I have written below. I will be back next week with lots more outfit ideas and inspiration. So hopefully you will join me them. Take care.